God for the word on last night. Come back for some more tonight. Looking forward for some more for tomorrow night. So come on and magnify the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, let's reach out to him tonight. Hallelujah. We can receive what he has for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many love the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. Come on and bless the real good tonight. Hallelujah. Come on and shout him out of praise tonight. But how many know he's worthy? He's so worthy tonight of all praise. All that glory belongs to him. Come on and put your hands together. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Make no mistake. He is faithful to his word. 
tonight. So come on in mighty divine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Have you tried, Jesus?
Amen. Thank God for the man of God going to minister the word today. Amen. Minister Chris Hampton. Thank God. Oh, how many can't wait to receive the word hungry tonight? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We do thank God tonight for all the neighbors, the ushers. Amen. The video recorders, Sister Keisha. Yeah, yeah. Amen, Sister Deborah. Amen. For the name of the sound. Sister, amen. Thank God. Praise God for her. Amen, my beautiful wife on tonight. Thank God for all my sisters and brothers in the Lord, everybody in their place. Amen. Thank God for Mother Camilla. She here tonight. Thank God for her. Amen. Glory to God. We just give God praise and thank God for everybody in their place. Don't want to leave nobody out, but we just give God thanks for everybody. Amen. That's just walking in the calling of which God have called them. Hallelujah. Come on now, lift them hands and give the Lord another good praise tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many know when you come to the house of God, ain't no time to just be quiet. Amen. Unless you're listening to the preacher, but the Bible said make a joy for noise unto the Lord. Amen. I mean, it ain't got to sound good, but it's a joyful noise. How many got joy in your soul tonight? Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you can have joy even in the midst of troubles? No matter what's going on. Amen. Because we serve a great God tonight. Amen. And we know he got all things in control. Amen. We're just going to amen move forward into the service. When you clap your hands for Jesus, amen, one more time on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to have, amen, praise God, a welcome here, amen, by Sister Keisha Peterson. Going to come give us a welcome. Amen. Thank God for her. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. We welcome you to the second night of revival. And we just want to let you know you can feel free to run, jump, hop, skip, whatever you feel free to do, and praise the Lord. And we welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. Amen. Amen. We got somebody said, let go and let God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord is in our midst tonight. Amen. How many of you used to go to the club and you went shame? Amen. I said, you went shame. Glory to God. We don't be shamed tonight. Hallelujah. You know why the praises were going for the man and sister Faith. Amen. We're just getting out with it. Praise God. I'm sitting there thanking you. Hallelujah, we need some of them old mothers again. Amen. Don't mind shouting, just shouting down the aisle. Amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory. Praise God. We need some young folks that don't mind shouting. Yeah. Coming out of them seats and giving God the praise. Yeah. Oh, think of somebody telling me, oh, you don't shout like you used to. Yeah. Hallelujah, you don't praise them like you used to. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. But how many we can go by? Amen. Glory to God. And that, those good things that we, man, we let go. We need to get them returned by. Amen. Because yeah. God deserves the praise on tonight, don't it? Yeah. Amen. We're going to have, amen, a scripture reading right here by Sister Kanisha Doyle. Amen. Going to come give us a scripture reading. Come on, clap your hands as she comes. John chapter 16 verse 33 these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye have tribulations but be of good cheer I have overcome the world amen amen, amen. amen. come on clap your hands for that scripture read the game and all tonight now we're just going to amen for briefly we're going to change the service give opportunities for your testimonies on tonight amen we thank God Amen for everybody in the house. Come on, give Sister Michelle. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah, God is good. Thank you, Jesus. I couldn't wait to get to church. wait to get to church and Hallelujah, Jesus. First giving unto the God. Thank you, Jesus. Who's the head of my life? Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for my pastor. Go back to everybody there and say it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 
praise Jesus. I went last night and I asked for prayer. I went up for prayer for a situation. For a situation where they had called a family in. Hallelujah, they called that family in for this girl who had every machine hooked up to her. She had everything hooked up to her, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many know God is a healer, Jesus? Worship song, Jesus. 
promise keeper. Amen. Right before we get ready to move forward, receive the word. I'm going to ask the first lady, let me say something tonight. Right. You know, so I'm say thank God for you. Do you love it? Yeah. 
All right, we're going to move on, amen. We're getting ready to receive the word of God. We do thank God for those that come in, amen. We just thank God for you, amen, being here, amen, tonight, amen. We're going to receive, amen, the woman of God, amen, sister. Now we can come on and bring on her man of God tonight. Amen. 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 Oh, somebody make some noise. house of God yes, with my heart being in the right place yes. looking to Jesus. Ain't that all right? Yes. I said ain't that all right? Yes. Amen. Bow your heads as we go to the Lord in prayer. You, amen. Amen. Father God in the name of Jesus. Yes. God I come to you just the humble as I can uh, before you. At your feet God on tonight asking you to first forgive me for all of my sins, God. For the short of your glory. God, I pray on tonight, God, that you see the needs of your people. God, that you see fit to walk up and down the aisles, God. See the needs. Heal, touch, deliver God, I pray that you fill this atmosphere with the anointing. For in your word, you said the anointing is what destroyed the yokes. God, I'm nothing without you, God. I'm just a yielding vessel, God. But I'm trying to fall in line of obedience, Lord. You said, open your mouth. Now I speak for you. You know the needs. God, I pray that you lift the birds. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that a word go forth. Touch somebody's life. The gospel is all about saving. It's all about souls being saved, God. Save, set free, deliver. On tonight, God, I pray. God, I pray for the woman of God. Head of this house, God. Pray, God, to give us strength. God, I pray that you move in our body, Lord. That you get in our hands and our feet and our legs, God. God, I pray that you give her just what she needs, God. Add years to her life, Lord. Bless the word of God, Lord, I pray. I pray for each and every person in this building. On tonight, God, that you work a miracle. Do the impossible, God, in their life, Lord. And God, I pray this prayer. Lord God, on tonight, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Amen. I want to sing a song with my sister. Sister in I can't remember the song, really. I don't want to get up and mess up. <laughs> I want to say something, I guess. But first, I want to give honor to God for being ahead of my life, saving me. My pastor, Pastor Anderson. Yes. Yes. They say she's been rocking with me a long time. Stood in the gaps for me a lot of days, a lot of nights. Go ahead. Giving honor to my wife. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sure. Amen. She has seen some dark days. But I thank God that she see the man I told her about. Save. God has saved me. I don't know about y'all, but God has saved me. It feels good to be shamed. Come on, somebody. I say it feels good to be shamed. Hey, Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. All on the inside of me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Amen. Give it honor to Pastor Lena. Lady Lena. Dr. Thomas, my cousin, amen, brother Larry, that's, that's, that's my big brother there, I be calling brother Larry, he be sitting in the meeting, he be ready, I'm talking about he will pull you over in the heartbeat, amen, I be, I thank God for, for John, brother, we go way back. We go way back. Amen. My mama, my sister, my auntie, my brother in church on tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My sister Asia, thank you, Jesus. God is in the soul, saving the business. Amen. Pastor Dog, amen. Everybody up in here. I'm not, I'm doing my best not to look over. Everybody, brother, brother, papa, thank God for him. Everybody, everybody. Give yourself a hand. Amen. Amen. Trouble in my way. I have to cry. Sundays ago, I felt the power of God in service. 
I haven't felt it like that in, in years. And I can think back to I was much younger in the days of when we used to shop and have a good time at the old building there. I think on the old times because I had gotten away from God. And when I came back to the Lord, I was looking for that same thing. It's a feeling that you can't explain. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost now. I'm talking about the power. I ain't talking about no chills or nothing, but I'm talking about the power of God. And I was telling my wife, and she could tell you, over the days of being a cocaine addict, I find myself listening to this song by Willie Neal and the Gospel Kilos. Lord, I want to feel your spirit one more time. One more time. And it would cause me to cry. And just from that point and throughout the years, I would always, every time I would hear that song, I would tell the Lord, I want to feel your spirit one more time. And that service when Sister Ann was preaching, the Holy Ghost, it got a hold of me. See, the Holy Ghost, when they get a hold of you, you can't tame it. You got to move. It's going to make you run when you didn't think about it. But when it, when it hits you, it, it's going to be just like a fire. Yes. Yes. On the inside, it was just like, 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 a, like a joy, a happiness in my mind. When, when, it, at the same time, all I can do is just think on what God has brought me from. All right. The mess that I have put myself in yes. and how he has kept me. Yes. When I have made my, laid, made my bed in hell and he was dealt with me the whole time. But ever since that Sunday, it been like old school. I've been feeling something on the inside that I just can't, I can't tame it. It just turned me. But I thank God one more time I felt your spirit. And it had to stop it's more than just a chill. Something that just moved your toe your face. Yeah. But it's something that's going to... How many love the Lord? Amen. 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 It's a blessing to see all y'all faces. I'm talking about all day long I've been having shit in the on that truck. Mark Faye asked me, you, you nervous? I'm like, no, I ain't nervous. It happened. Mark said, you nervous? No, I'm just happy. Now, I'm nervous. I'm <laughs> just so many people. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm happy, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm broke as a joke, but I'm happy because I'm saved. Yeah. I'm happy because I'm saved. I'm going to preach to y'all tonight. I feel like a preacher. It's been a long time since I suited up. Because I had got so fat, I grew all the suits. But I feel like a preacher tonight. My wife said, you and Michael Jackson shoes on. I said, I'm clean. I'm going to preach tonight. Now, I don't care if y'all don't move or what. I'm not bothered about that. Because one thing about it, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. You can sit on down you want to like a night on the law, I don't care, but I'm going to preach to you tonight. That's what God called me to do. I done went through so much. I done ran, I done bugged, but now I'm here and it's showtime. Amen. I'm going to preach whether you like it or not. I'm going to preach. God called me at the age of 16. He said, I could come through. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. And it's living on the inside of me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
I got to answer the Lord. It's the Lord. Hallelujah. What is it that I can tell your people? Uh -huh. yeah. And I do my best. I'm not one of those that God said this, God said that. I'm not one of those. I'm not big on that. I believe God will speak to you about yourself first before he do anybody else. All right, so I felt in my spirit, don't stop at the finish line. All right. Come on. Lord, that might be for me now. <laughs> but what I want to talk to you about tonight is be ye ready. All right. Be ready. All right. For Jesus is on his way back. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. But while we were waiting on the Lord, mm -hmm. we need to get ourselves ready because death yes, sir. be knocked at our door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Be ye ready. Go with me to your Bibles. I remember. I, I don't. I don't. I don't have nothing against like uh, tablets, phones. I use them. Um, sometimes I don't feel like talking my Bible, but my mind goes back to Bro Page days. <laughs> and I used to see demons cast out. And Brother Payne Mahalo said, y'all better grab y'all Bibles. <laughs> it's a demon in here. And you better plead the blood of Jesus with it. And just to show, you got to cast one out. But I want to talk to you tonight. Be ye ready. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Verses 36 through 44. Amen. 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 But of that day and hour, we know of no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Mm -hmm. But as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, yes. until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Mm -hmm. Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the meal. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch. Mm -hmm. Therefore, for ye know not the hour your Lord who would come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken in, broken up. Therefore be ye ready. Therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man come. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Matthew 25. And 
1 through 13. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto the ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bride. Five of them were wise, five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil and they vessels mm -hmm. with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Mm -hmm. and, and at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answer saying, Not so. Least there be not enough for us and you. Tell your neighbors, go get your own. Amen. I got mine. Get yours. Amen. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Mm -hmm. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to marriage. And the door was shut. Afterward came also another virgin saying, Lord, Lord, Open unto us. But he answered, said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man come. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word. God, I pray on tonight. To be a blessing to my soul and each and other others in this building, my brothers and sisters, God, to save and deliver. Oh, we thank you. Thank Jesus' you. name, I pray. Amen. 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 And if I read this, it took my mind back to all the disobedient days all right. when I was told what to do. And not to do. Yeah. <laughs> and how I was told it may not be no use to you now, but it will later. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to start running all those stop signs yes, sir. and being hard headed. Yes, Until the days have come of Cain that I met. Everything that was told to me, it played back in my head. All right. But thank God for being a God of chance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. When I was 16 years old, I was confronted by death. And when death step in your way, some people is not given another chance. That's right. Somebody better hear me now. Right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Some people are not given another chance. Right. God is a just God, a righteous God. That He always sent a warning before destruction. He ain't that type of God that's going to blindside you. That's going to hit you from the side of the back. But he's going to come to you and tell you to stop. Or else. Many days I heard the word preached over and over and over. Turn from your wicked ways. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Turn yes, sir. from your wicked ways. Yes, yes, yes. This will be the child of days. Yes, 
shall be cut off. Keep talking back. You don't see what's going to happen to you. But yet, I find myself rebelling. And just what I rebelled against, and just what they say it can happen. So thankful that I come to a church in the sound of the Lord. Preachers preach their heart out, telling the people about Jesus, and people rebel and buck against the word of God. When you can read it for yourself. Preachers crying out. Yes. The Bible say, "How can a preacher preach and shall he be sick? Right. How can a church hear without a preacher? Right. Every time that we come before a man or a woman of God, an opportunity to give our hearts to the Lord, yes. we rebel and we kick, yes. knowing that tomorrow ain't promised to us. Right. It's a spirit." Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, give an ear to what the Spirit is saying to the church. God has opened his mouth. He's telling us the time is coming that the door is going to be shut. Can no man open the door? It's going to be over. Take heed to the wonders of God that say God. Come on, preacher. Hey, Hallelujah, Jesus. The time is getting close. He's knocking at the door of the people. But yet we give a deaf ear to what the Spirit is saying. We don't know how yeah, 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 yeah. the time. Ba, 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 ba. We don't know the time. The time, the time is joy. The time is joy. Hallelujah. God is not a God that He forces Himself. He was given an opportunity. That's why Jesus gave His life so that we may have the right to a tree of life. Give your hearts to God, people. Give your hearts to God, people. God said, go. God said, go. It's time to turn. It's time to turn. 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 Hey, I'm a whole shot to you. God said, go. Hey, man. Got to have all in your vessels. You got to be ready. It's time to prepare yourself. Right. It's time to prepare yourself, women and children. Me and boys, prepare yourself for the coming of God. For the coming of God. Get your hearts right, your minds right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. That deliverance in the name of Jesus. I remember when I was coming up, they made us get on our knees and call on the Lord Jesus. On the name Jesus, 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 Jesus. And after a while, something broke loose. You went to speak in the tongue. You didn't just get saved then. You didn't just get delivered then. But we received the Holy Ghost right then. People don't want the Holy Ghost because it's life changing. People don't want to let go of their mess. 
it's time to be holy. It's time to be holy. It's time to be holy. God is looking for holy people. He's looking for yes people. I can feel that thing pulling in my stomach. Oh! It's time to be holy. It's time to be holy. I'm stuck on the old time way. Because that's all I know. Grandma got us in them prayer meetings. And we prayed. We prayed. We didn't know how to pray. But they said, just call them. I be striding them mile. It says, Chris, call them a little longer. Just a little while longer. Come on, somebody. I called Jesus. I said, Jesus. I said, Jesus. I said, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I dare you to call his name. I dare you to call his name. Look at your name and say, Jesus. Look at your name and say, Jesus. Look at your name and say, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. All right. Yes, I'm going to let y'all go. Go ahead, Doc. Bad thing is, when you come, you hear the word of God, mm -hmm. and you give a deaf ear. All right. Yes, right. That's trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's dangerous. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you rejecting what God is offering you. That's right. That's the truth. When you say, I ain't ready yet. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. What the Bible say? Hear my voice. Or right. not your heart. Somebody here need to get their life to God. That's right. Come on, preacher. I feel it all on the inside. God is talking to somebody. Yeah. I promise you, I was we get my testimony. Family, if I can vouch for me. Yeah. I ain't want nothing to do with church. God, he ain't at all. Yes, sir. I love the streets. Yes, sir. And whatever he had off. Come on, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. It took God stepping off his throne almost, seemed like me. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I was that type of person. But I came from a family of prayer warriors. Go ahead. Come on, God. And when prayer on you, <laughs> everything go bad. <laughs> That's just what it is. <laughs> See, I know my grandma was praying to God save me. Yeah. And sometimes God don't bring them in the way you think. God will sometimes shake them over hell yeah, yeah. Ain't no telling how God gonna bring your child in. Yeah. Or bring you in. Mm -hmm. Like I tell some people and I have told them, go in if God is warning you, come in the easy way. Hearken. Give a ear. Yeah. Do something. <laughs> God had warned me mm -hmm. at the age of 16 years old right, by a woman of God, Pastor Jay, my auntie. Come on, Doc. I quit school. I need some break shoes. I'm going to tell you says more. I'm going to let y'all go. Go ahead, bro. I quit school. Went to work for my auntie in town at the bed, right. at the car wash. I needed some brake pads on my shoe, on my, on my car. My granddaddy, you know, everything, he pretty much had his phone. So, long story short, uh -huh. it, was a, it was Wednesday, Wednesday evening, yeah, October the 11th of 2000. I went to my grandma's house after we got off. Went to my grandma's house, and my auntie said, Chris, I feel there to read the prayer. I don't know what's going on that day. You know that that day, anybody? Hey, remember what? Hey, Willette was telling me that she felt led to read, pray with me or something. And I was like, man, time is Come on, <laughs> I'm telling you, I was a big, I was broke, but. <clears throat> but she told me, she said, Chris, I just feel led to, to pray with you a little bit, you know? Read or something. I can't remember. It was along them lines. Yeah. October the 11th, Hence. That Thursday, the next day, I left the car wash around it. It was almost around that same time, a little earlier. My granddaddy got me some brake pads. I went to my cousin's house, and we get out there, and he had he 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 went to, he was man, he was lit. He just come to a bunch of money. He was lit, and he went to put the brake shoes, brake pads on. It was the wrong one. So we called Nap All Report. We had 15 minutes to make. He jumps in the car, he takes off. My friend, that was my homeboy that was in the, he was in the back seat behind me. He was telling my cousin to slow down. And 
He looked back at it and laughed and gave it some more gas. Gave it some more gas. So at this time, we brought around the curve. I know it seemed like I, I want to say we was doing about 125 miles. Put around the curve, lost control. Lit 374 feet and were told to me and hit two trees at the top off of that, or off the set. Around the same time, God warned me. Yeah. That next day. Yes, sir. That next day. That spleen, spleen, brain damage, parts of the lungs, bruised kidney. Don't y'all remember? Mm -hmm. oh, Didn't know if I was going to make it. Because I failed to take heed that's to the right. warning right. of God. That's right. Yes, yes, that's right. The warning of God. Yes. Yes. Who knows what time, what day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's gonna knock at your door. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. But I thank God for sparing me. Yeah. Spare me. What was told to me was, I, I, I don't know. My grandma, I think Bro Ford came by, and he got preached the gospel. God was praying. And, and what talked it off, y'all? I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to walk. I did. And that old church over there was in revival. And my, my girlfriend at the time, she pushed me up in the wheelchair. I was at the hospital for three days, staying in the hospital for quite a while, a couple weeks, months, something like that. And when after I got released, come to church three days later, we had a power revival over there. The old church. My girlfriend at the time pushed me to the front, Brother Tara. Brother Tara, it was right in front. I will never forget it. He looked at me. Y'all knees, he prayed. And he said this one thing, God has forgiven you for your sins. And he turned around and he said, God has added years to your life. And then he turned around and said, he jumped back. You believe you can walk? I just said, yeah. That's it. Yeah. If you say I can, <laughs> he kicked the thing back. Who remember that? I got up and walked. My whole left side went normal. I got up, I walked just like that. And I went back. Church went crazy. Oh, oh, but look, now I'm telling you, I can tell y'all some testimonies. Yeah. My life is different. I'm telling you. Come on, God. The, the way God manifests itself, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing, man. That's why I adore people that, that, that labor in prayer, right. that can move God. It's a blessing to have people yes, in your life like that. Right. Because sometimes you need right. somebody in your corner. Right. Right. It gets tough. Yes. 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 Sometimes you don't even be in a place you ain't thinking straight. You can't even pray with yourself. Right. Right. And, I, and just like Pastor Patterson said, I know you don't remember Pastor, but you say this. You can't get on your knees, just say Jesus. <laughs> or just stay there on your knees or something. Yes. And I find myself doing that. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, God touched my, touched my body and I walked. Mm -hmm. And my grandma stayed on me. Boy, get them crutches. Boy, get that, that walker. I'm tired. I ever tell you, you know, I'm walking. Like you don't go be on that lane, but get off that lane. But it's just something. I'm telling you, God is a good God. Yes, you know what I mean? Man, listen, if you ain't saved, you don't know what you mean. That's the bottom line. If you ain't saved, you, 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 you don't know what you miss. This thing can get you high in marijuana. You hear me? This thing will take you above plenty of rock. It will take you above the clouds. Scoop no weed and got nothing on the Holy Spirit. If 
you ain't saying you ain't hit no nothing. If you ain't saying you ain't hit no nothing. Which is the greatest thing. I remember when I first got saved, I said, dog, grandma, this is this what I've been missing? I'm talking about it's clean, ain't it? Yeah. I think it's this, it feel real good. Yeah. I can't even explain, you gotta try it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, I love y'all. How many thank God for tonight? Amen. Ain't God good? Yeah. I say, ain't God good? Yeah. Ain't you serving a wonderful God? Yeah. Who out there serving a wonderful God? Yeah. Just wave your hands if you're serving a wonderful God. for saving me. Thank you for resting on me. Thank you for the peace and the joy and the love. Lord, I thank you. Yay! Yes! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Victory Victory shall be mine. doing you revival. First time. First time not preaching to you revival, but I can't God do it. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you something. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm just happy y'all. I'm just glad to be saved. But um uh, I'm telling you, I'm working on me. I'm working on me, you know I don't want to be that man of God God wants me to be. Amen.